Hello and welcome to a very dark and gloomy Broad Street RFC, but I've got good news. The floodlights are coming on, they're warming up, and we are about to get underway very shortly with the second 15 fixture between Wellington College and Sedbus School. We know what a special event this is, and we have got back-to-back -back live streams here from Broad Street RFC on Next Gen 15, beginning with this second 15 game at 4.15 or a little bit later, as you may well have noticed. Teams just making their way onto the field now. And then at 6 p.m. is the first 15. So just to run you through the team sheets before we get started, Sedbert have at fullback Henry Barlow and in the back three, Josh Marlow and Zach Halsall. Josh Marlow may well end up over on the first 15 field at some point as well. In the centres, Dom Delaney and Nathan Brew and halfbacks, Will Holmes and Junior Newton. Up front, Harry Peckett, Tom Shaw and Tom Loveday. In the front row, Miles Cook and Michael Broderick in the second row and Woody Pocken, Fred Robson, the skipper and Finn White in the back row. George Ad Aldersley, Tom Roebuck, Seb Smith, Noah Glanville, Tom Newman, Alex Martin, Archie Callahan, George Burton and Johnny Davis are your substitutes. Wellington College, meanwhile, well, also led in the back row by Barnaby White and his vice captain Tom Taylor is alongside him in the back row, along with Tom Hutchinson. In the second row, Jacob Edwards and Joe Buxton. And up front, Joseph Pym, Archie Hall and Max Drake. Look out for Joseph Pym on the bench perhaps later for the first 15. Eddie Rag and Ollie Flint are your halfbacks. Will spring it. Is in the centres and he seems likely to come across to the first 15 later on today as well. In the back three, Noah Eldrington, Matthew Nolan and Sammy Hutton. And in the back row, yeah, sorry, on the bench row, the Casper Tipple, Andres, Buen Camino, Freddie Higgins, Ben Maxwell, Hislop, Seb Letts, and Sam Whitaker. So, we are just about to get set. Sedba will be on the right hand side of your screens in brown as per, and on the left hand side of your screens in black. Our Wellington College and how pumped do they look? Well, it's quite the picturesque setting, isn't it, on our screens there. The floodlights still taking a little while to come up to temperature, but that clubhouse looking majestic in the background. What remains now is for us to get underway. Now, you'll notice a few of the numbers on the backs of the shirts are, uh, are a bit skewed, and I've literally just been handed a team sheet with some updated numbers, so I'll try and, uh, I'll try and do my best to keep you all abreast of that as we go through this game but it should be an absolute cracker of a game both of these sides such rich history last year wellington college took the victory 32 points to 15. the year before obviously absent due to covid but before that a 15 all draw and before that a said for victory so this game has gone this way and that through the years which way will it go in 2022 Sedbra arrived with the greater form, played 6-1-6. Wellington College, a bit more of a difficult year, but on a night like this, none of that matters. It's all about what happens here on the field. Uh, Broad Street RFC referee. Oh, he's got his ref mic on. That's very good news, isn't it? We're going to know exactly what he's saying throughout the game. Always handy. Didn't quite pick up what he had to say there, but I'm sure we will get it very shortly. Players just about ready. We're about five minutes behind the scheduled kickoff time of quarter past four. But we are underway here at Broad Street RFC. Wellington College claiming the kickoff and smothered in the tackle by said but Wellington. Turnover's good, turnover's good. I thought they had clean ball, but it ended up squirting out the side of that ruck. So it's early turnover opportunity for said but hold, hold. Crashing through they go early on. Now they look to go wide. We can expect to see plenty of that from this said beside. Working their way around to the right hand touch line. In the hands of the scrum half, Will Holmes. It's just stabbed through, but turned over. Wellington College and a chance for Will Spring it to make some ground. He's one to keep an eye on in this second 15. wide for Wellington now they'll look to clear their lines through Ollie Flint 
looking to find grass in the backfield henry barlow has it the centre fullback or rather in fact so that was nathan brew the 12 that was hanging out in the backfield michael broderick turnover is good turnover is good rather to apologize Turned over, Wellington College. Hurst has it, Hurst showing and going and up towards Rick's the 22. Vantage, not Turned up. over. Rather kept in Wellington hands. Knock on advantage, over! Wide they go to Noah Ellington. Rag at scrum half. Has a little dart through, does the young scrum half. Turnover's good, turnover's good. It's been turned over by Sedba though. And it's a big old carry. Tom Loveday that is, wearing 22. The prop. Wide they go to the far side. Oh, brilliant gas from Sedba, well covered in the backfield. In the end by said by Wellington College. How? Said but looking to the left hand side now. Finn White has it. Turn to advantage, flat 13, not rolling away. Still they go wide. Hold it, hold it. In the hands of the hooker, sure. Great offload from said but and again offloading game is on point here Vantage over. backwards go backwards so close to the set to the wellington line a said burn across the line they go and it's josh marlow on the right hand side to open the scoring for said but smooth possession play from the cumbrian side and an early try for Marlow. We see it again here. The break from Junior Newton. Got the ball away. Recycled possession. And then through the hands, Holmes. White to Marlow in the corner. And the opening score for Sedba School. attempt here for Junior Newton. Just falls short of the post, so said for have a five nil lead after just three and a half minutes. A strong start from them. What can Wellington College do in response to that score? Said to tidy up the kickoff. Well dealt with there. I think I've tidied up my team sheet with some of the updated numbers. So hopefully, we should be full of accuracies here. Surging through. Go Sedba up to the halfway line. Through the hands it goes and it's intercepted and away go Wellington College Jacob Edwards across the line the perfect response for Wellington College and a wonderful moment for Jacob Edwards said we were in a promising position but Edwards with that big stride and that long arm of his. 
reaching out to pluck that wide pass. And right away for his side's opening score and levels the game up almost instantaneously. Brilliant work from Jacob Edwards. The conversion, Fabes Hurst. Looks like the man who's standing over it. It's a little chip kick from Hurst. Doesn't quite go over. So we are level at five points apiece. What a wonderful start this has been. Less than four minutes gone and already at five points apiece. Said for kickoff. Okay. Spilled though. And then spilled again by Wellington College. So we'll have a first scrum down of the game, Wellington College, to put in. In a busy start here at Broad Street RFC for this second 15 fixture between Wellington College and Sedba. say by the way we're playing with uncontested scrums Wellington College unfortunately only actually have four senior front rowers available to them at the moment due to injury and so they have taken the uh, quite reasonable call to say that they will prioritize contested scrums in the first 15 game rather than in this one Sedba on the attack with energy perhaps having not had to go through that scrummaging and Finn White, the number eight, charges across for a wonderful individual score. Tit for tat here at Broad Street RFC. There he goes, Finn White on the charge, just too strong through the tackle, almost brought down, but just has the balance to stay up. And under the post he goes. And the conversion added by Junior Newton and Sedbert have a 12-5 lead. A huge thank you, by the way, to our sponsors today, Limitless Return to Play, Student Sport Company, and Coach Logic for helping us put this one together. We've got lots to say about them as the evening goes on. But just an early thank you to them for getting this one on. It was touch and go at one stage, but we're here and we're under the lights. And said, but we're in try scoring form. Two tries to Wellington College's one and looking to counter off the kickoff straight away. Tackled man and ball by Wellington College though. So they build again the men in brown. They're carrying so well into contact at the moment. To the blind side they come. Flat pass across the front. Kept in field by Dom Delaney. Junior Newton barreling through and Harry Peckett on his shoulder. Vantage, look on. Turned over Wellington on the far side, though. So through the hands. Still playing knock on advantage. Here we go. Clearing kick. Okay, come back to the knock on College, advantage. But we're going to come back. Scrum down, black ball. And have a scrum.
Max here, guys. Max here, players. Reminder again, uncontested scrums this evening. Crouch! But all that should do is give everyone a Five. bit more energy out in the wide Set. channels and given the way these two sides like to move the ball around, that is going to be no bad thing. Ball out. Backwards. Ball spilled by Wellington College, but tidied up in the end. Hugely contested ruck. Sedbert comes Turn ploughing over and turned it over as well. Fantastic counter ruck. The boys in brown. <laughs> But a penalty Two, to Wellington side, College. Straight off your feet. Straight off your feet, do the side. On you. It's not against you, you're 10. Just going off their feet there, I think. On the line. Brown. Cleared from the penalty up to the halfway line and a throw in first line out of the game in fact I think isn't it? Let's go Black! Throwing in Black. will you be win, Tom Shaw, the Wellington College hooker. Dead in front of my commentary position I'll be able to tell you with an eagle eye how straight this is. Oh it's very straight and it's well slapped back by Wellington College and tidied up as well. Lovely arrow. Tom Shaw. Poached on the floor by Sedba, causing carnage at the breakdown. The northern side. Flint, or Finn White rather, I should say. Carrying really well so far today. To the hands of Peckett. And now on to White, the number eight. Big carry no, no, from him. No. You'll notice two number eights on the field. There's also Miles Cook, who's playing in the second row. I think Miles Cook is the one with blonde hair. He could be about to receive it here. If Delanoy could have got it away. Now it is in the hands of Miles Cook. Okay, that's forward, we're playing penalty advantage. Black Reese is saying they had a high tackle there, so it'll be a Sedba penalty. Just on the intersection of the 22 and the 15 metre line. And Junior Newton. No second thought about it, he's going to the corner. And why not? Said, but to the middle, safely brought down. Set them all up now. Balls at the tail. It's across the line. Is it down? It is indeed a third try for Sedbert. Hey, Who's going to emerge with the ball? Keep the pressure on, boy. Well, it looks as though. Is that the hooker? Tom Shaw that's getting the plaudits. I should say, by the way, I do apologise. I've been calling Archie Hall the Wellington College hooker. Tom Shaw. It was Archie Hall with that delightful dart earlier on. But charging through here. Who's got the ball diving over? It is the hooker, indeed. Tom Shaw with the Sedba try. Three tries for Sedba. Seventeen five they lead. Conversion in the capable hands of Junior Newton. I do apologize to Archie Hall and Tom Shaw.
There's a theory it could be Woody Pockin that, uh, that got himself over the line. We'll call it a, a real forwards effort, that score. Certainly a sign of the threat that the Sedba Mall has. A really powerful drive and a powerful run, this one from Tom Loveday wearing 22. Back on the angle comes Henry Barlow. Barlow, oh, it's a lovely play from him and gets the offload away. And now an offload off the deck from Tom Shaw to the hands of Finn White. Lovely rugby here from Sedba. All goes loose though, and Wellington College tidy it up. Is there a chance for them to counter? Digging away goes Eddie Rag. They run it tight. Tom Taylor, the vice captain, takes it into contact. So Rag now moves it wide, and Flint searching for those outside him, and Hurst moves it wide now to Noah Ellington. Ellington up to the 22. He's well tackled, but he's beautifully supported as well. Rag to Flint. Flint darts back inside. Across it comes now. Max Drake. Okay, come back from Pair 2 Vantage for the high tackle. It's a penalty, Wellington College. Time up. Time up. I think referees just going to stop the clock there due to an injury. And with a little bit of an injury break. A good time to talk to you about one of those partners that has made it possible to put this evening's entertainment together. Our brand new sportswear partner, Limitless. Limitless is the sportswear arm of School Blazer. They're the number one sportswear brand in independent schools. Their goal is for every young person to develop an active, healthy lifestyle. And they understand comfortable, well-fitted, high-performance kit is vital to building lifelong sporting confidence. And they also understand that it is vital to keeping me warm on a cold and blustery night at Broad Street RFC. So thank you very much to Limitless for their support of Next Gen 15 and for their support of this evening's live streams. Two fantastic games for you this evening. The second 15 putting on a real show already and we're only 13 minutes in. And a six o'clock kickoff. The link is out there. Make sure you go and click on it. It's a different link to this game. The first 15 game, Sedbert against Wellington College, 6 p.m. kickoff. The culmination of an epic day of action here at Broad Street at RFC. On the pitches all around, we've had action. I was watching the under 16s earlier and the under 15s as well. I think we've got the under 14s on behind me. We've had A team, B team, C team. It's been absolutely fantastic. And it all builds to a head with these final two games. Okay, let's go, let's get what a line. start it's been from the Sedba second 15 though. 17-5 up, 13 minutes gone. But a Wellington College line out in the 22. It's a bit of a scrappy one, but it's tidied up by Eddie Rag. Oh, oh. Tom Taylor inside. plays scrum half and gives it to Tom Hutchinson, his back row colleague. He shows real abrasion in the tackle there. I think that Sam Whitaker has come on. In 21. That's another penalty, Wellington College. Can they capitalise and close the gap? They're certainly going to give it a good go because they are going from right under the sticks over towards that corner. And a very decent nudge it was from Ollie Flint. Look at this power through contact from Hutchinson. I don't think it's a high tackle there, was it? Uh, side end, uh, side entry and offside there from Sedba, in fact. Line out Wellington College, Archie Hall to throw in. Very keenly watched game this one. I've already seen three of these Scottish 
Exiles, the SQ program coaching staff loitering around the touchlines, keeping an eye out for some future potential Scotland internationals. And I'll tell you what, do not discount the second 15 fixture as being a place where some of those may come from. Such is the depth of these two schools. And it's going to be another penalty to Wellington College. Deliberate knock on there. Speaking of Scotland, I saw Jack Dempsey very unfortunately yellow carded against the All Blacks for a similar offence. Said for escape the yellow. But Wellington College pump it into the corner. It was great line speed actually from Said, but and really good delay on the pass from Archie Hall. Said for just getting in that passing lane. Ball then. Sends it to the tail and it's quick ball off that tail. And Flint feeds it in field to Whitaker. But it's a forward pass and said, but escape the pressure with a scrum. It's uncontested, remember. So pretty much guaranteed safe, secure ball here. Unfortunate one, that one. It was great line speed. I think it was Fred Robson that got himself off the line for said, but just put a bit too much pressure on the pass of Flint. Crouch! Five! The good news, it looks as though I have correctly identified my seven number eight shirts. Hold Finn that, White at the back of the scrum. Ball out. into the dangerous Henry Barlow at fullback who feeds it out to Josh Marlow, the try scorer on the right wing. Backwards, gone backwards. So White was charging onto that one, but he just didn't quite bring the ball with him. Back in Wellington College hands. And it's a tidy backwards. little period of possession, or territory rather for Wellington College. This scrappy ball is bouncing this way and that. Sedba kind of come over the top of the ruck and the referee decides it's all too bit of a much of a mess and uh, we'll restart with the scrum. Safe to say that winter has arrived here in the Midlands. The wind has picked up, the temperatures have plummeted. And the layers have been added. Five, set. Not that that's having any impact on the field, though. Cracker of a game so far in this opening quarter of an hour or so. Spring it. Pull it back, and now Wellington College are working down this right-hand side. No Ellington. Yeah, penalty said, but. Woody Pochin, the man to get over it. And Seb, but with a penalty on the 22 and a chance to clear this one long. Said the penalty takes them up just about to halfway. Tom Shaw's just looking for a ball. A ball has arrived. Happy days. There's some very professional kit that's just arrived for me as well to keep me warm and dry in these torrid conditions. Backward. Said but down the right hand side, Finn White. What a threat he is. Ball in hand, Finn White, is he going to go all the way? He might well do, oh, Finn White. What a score. The big number eight going in from halfway. And how about that? 
Finn White. Absolutely destructive carrying from the big number eight. And I'll tell you what. Get him in the first team, eh? What a run from Finn White. What a score. And Sedbert already with their fourth try. Magic work. From this talismanic number eight. Conversion is just short. But Sedbert have a strong 22-5 lead. As we're just shy of the 20 minute mark. said but secure it oh that's brilliant running and a lovely offload oh! from said but glorious play that from Harry Peckett Charity advantage offside black 11 <laughs> case we lost there black 11 offside fantastic from Peckett but in the end we're coming back for a scrum down no, we're not coming back for a penalty. I do apologise. Just there, Black. Sorry? Right, you, you captain. Yeah. No, no, so, so for you, so for you, so it's all seven three. Line out said, but sure to throw in. Hold on, hold on. It's all a bit messy and scrappy over there, though. Yeah. So referee just calls a bit of time to have a chat with the Wellington skipper, Barnaby White. Okay, now when you're ready, Brian. You can't form all without them joining. Okay, you can't, you can't trick a trailer into them. Cleared very nicely by Wellington College. Let's go, Black. Let's get a bit of tempo, please. And they'll have a line out. Archie Hall is getting plenty of practice. Okay, Black, let's have a line out time, isn't he? The Wellington College hooker on his own 10 meter line. That's good, that's Starting fine. to get a bit greasy out there. The rain is coming down. You might not be able to see it on your screens, oh, but it's... Ball out. Backwards. It's that sort of rainfall that's almost unnoticeable, Brown but ball. really starts to make things very, very greasy out there. Our production team running around, getting waterproofs on uh, on all the equipment. Very impressive. Hold. Display of speed from there. Crashing through. Go set. Hold. Tom Shaw. Huge carry from the hooker. Two hookers are playing really well tonight, aren't they? No scrum half, I said, but... How? So Cook steps in there. And again, this time, Delano has to stand in. Woody Pocket this time takes it in. And now Will Holmes has extricated himself from the bottom of that ruck to come back and play scrum half. Oh, a lovely pass from Delanoy, and now away goes Zach Halsall. Let's play on, let's play. Into the 22, a set for now. That's not tough. But it's spilled forward as they look to move the ball away from contact. Black ball, knock on. Lovely, lovely rugby from Sedbert down the left-hand side. Brilliant pass from Delanoy. Sorry. 
who then did so well to get back in support of the man he passed to, Zach Holsall. And really, unfortunately, the greasy ball as he hits the deck. Virginia Newton and Wellington College survive with a scrum. Crouch! Five! Set! Hold there, hold there. Ball out. Flint takes it to the line to spring it. Spring it is met well by the one called, by the Sedford defence rather. Big carry from the skipper Barnaby Help! White. A determined look on his face there. Hey, talk, don't need. And that carry creates the pressure to earn his side a penalty. Skipper's hard work. team have a chance to clear up to halfway they don't find touch but they are across the halfway line this is the sort of ball that said but absolutely love to play with and it's out here on the left hand side in the hands of Halsall Halsall cuts back inside almost up to the 22 it's the left winger Zach Halsall Junior Newton now takes it to the line does well to get the ball out of contact there and now they come through Matthew Broderick and Broderick Moved it to White, and White Careful. sends Careful. it all the way to Marlow on the right-hand side. He takes it in. They reset and come again. Broderick again on the carry. Leave now, you're off your feet, Six. Stay, stay, stay. White, well scragged by his opposite number. He's, of course, also That's White. In the end, spilled forward and Wellington College will have a scrum. Outside the two number eights on each other there. White on white, Finn against Barnaby, black on brown. Um, that is just over two superb players in the number eight shirt tonight. College have it out to the right hand side sensibly they cut in through Sammy Hutton gets to his support and almost up to halfway playing with advantage on Wellington College so they're going to put some width on this why not loose ball in the end though so we'll come back for that penalty About 10 minutes to go until half time. An impressive opening okay. half so far from Sedba, but Wellington have shown flashes of what they can do. The key for them is going to be turning some of this territory that they've had, particularly five minutes or so ago, turning it into points. See here, I think the referee thought Sebra had straight offside there. So with the resulting penalty, Wellington into the Sebra half. <coughs> safely controlled at the line out, is it? The referee says not straight, so we'll have a Sebra scrum. That's the half. Well, I think he's blown for half time. Our clock was uh, somewhat off the mark. But, but at, at half time here at Broad Street RFC in this superb second 15 game, it's Wellington College 5, Sedba School 22. Sedba have been absolutely fantastic in this first half, and we have a massive 35 minutes to come.
we look through some of those tries. That glorious intercept. Wellington College has only scored so far. Jacob Edwards. Striding out like a back three player. Sebert. And their number eight, Finn White, though. Hitting right back. And Finn White has just been magnificent so far in this match. That try was pretty special. But things were about to get oh so much better for the Sebba number eight. Before that, though, we had the case of the mystery try. Let's watch this one in detail and see if we can identify who got that one over the line. There's a few players having a go at it. Ball's loose on the floor. Tom Shaw dives over. But is someone else there before him? Might even have been Finn White. Looked as though he was dropping the ball there. But then last man up is Woody Potchin. Either way, this one was most definitely Finn White. Raw power, raw aggression, and then searing pace from the back rower. To score a stunning, stunning individual try. Oh, there'll be other teams he'd be the best player in the first 15 at. Wonderful, wonderful try from Finn White. Who has been magnificent. As have his team. The referees blown his whistle. We're almost ready to get back underway. Team's just swapping sides. A little ready and excited to get going for the second half both teams Wellington College know they need a score to start inching back in this one 22-5 down but we've all heard about this fixture in the past anything can happen when these two schools meet at any level will Wellington College turn it around in the second half well we're about to find out Referee just doing his final checks. Seems happy enough. Ollie Flint to kick off. That's a clever one, just goes short, but oh, it's seized upon brilliantly. The little goose step, oh, it's a brilliant tackle from Sammy Hutton. I think it was, leave now, Black, leave might have been now. Michael Broderick on the charge. We'll have a look at it again in a little bit, but George Addersley. Penalty advantage, never on side. Bashing through at the moment. Black one, Now said, but look to release the back line. Stabbed through delicately by Nathan Brew. Finds a bit of space. Covering across is no, Sammy Hutton. Coming. Goes Black into one, touch, but it's instead going to be a penalty back. said, but... Okay. Well, that was absolutely... Brilliant stuff from the kickoff from said, but... I think it might have been the 16, Tom Roebuck, actually, that seized upon that kick. Let's see it again here. Kick off. It was a clever short one, but seized absolutely perfectly. And it was, it was yet another of the uh, Sebba number eights. Possibly Miles Cook, although that doesn't look to me like Miles Cook. So possibly. Black, Someone in. else. I do apologise. We've got a lot of shirt numbers going on and um, lots of doubles. Either way, Vantage. brilliant play. That one spilled though from Flipping Zedbert. So Wellington College. Good ball, Tom Shaw. Well done, Tom. Lucky George. Next play. Let's go. Yeah, News has come through. It was Noah Glanville that made that stunning catch Johnny, from the, the kickoff. Fantastic man. work from Glanville. 
Crouch. Closer, Johnny. Closer to George. Five. There we go. Set. Hold nine, hold nine. Semper have rung a few changes at half time, as of Wellington College, in fact. I will uh, do my best to keep you abreast of those. Moving that ground. Johnny Davies, you can drop me. Carried over. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Help! Wellington College looking to play out. Good, good, Johnny. Now keep going, Johnny, keep going. Good man. Cleared long by Wellington into the backfield. Henry Barlow. Oh, he's a, such a delightfully balanced runner, is Barlow. Gets the offload away as well, but unlucky offload is just play. forward. So unlucky that. He's got to keep making those reads. Glorious running. From Henry Barlow. Gliding through players like a young Josh Hodge. Oh, if that offload could have been six inches to the other side. Separate in for an absolutely glorious score. So a bit of a rejig back line for Seb, but 21 there, you can see the scrum half. Set. Tom Newman. His opposite number still Eddie Rag for Wellington College. He gets this one into the scrum. Wellington look to this near side. Turnover's good. Turnover's good. Oh, turned over by Sed, but great work on the floor. The ball's out here to the number 10. That's the new number 10, Alex Martin, who you might remember. From the very first game of the season against Whitgift, Alex Martin started at 10 for the first 15 in that one. Here he is with the ball in his hands. Moving it wide now to Archie Callahan, who's come on in the centres, and Callahan feeds it back inside, and Tom Shaw, the hooker, gets across the line. Sedbus starting off in the second half, where they left in the first, in rare form. It was beautiful rugby. Tidy work from the forwards. And then Martin to Callahan. Callahan with the dummy. Steps through. Another step. And then that big old fend. And when he gets one on one with the last man, he just ships it inside. And Tom Shaw, well, he won't have many simpler run ins than that. Version. Slapped over. So said, but lead 29 points to five. A fantastic, fantastic start to the second half from the men in brown. Wellington College looking to react as fast as they possibly can. Okay. Bit of a delay while the stretcher comes across. Uh, it gives me another chance to talk to you about another of those people that have helped make tonight's action possible, or at least the live action possible. The Student Sport Company. We provide a free service to help students from all over the world to pursue their sporting ambitions and education in the UK. Working with a wide range of independent boarding schools and universities, they can offer advice oh. to any age of student who wishes to play rugby and study in the UK. Contact them via their website today to see what rugby opportunities they can find for you. That's the Student Sport Company. You can see on the bottom right of your screen there. Sedbert on the attack, and it's into the hands of Johnny Davis, who's come on on the wing. Johnny Davis, is he going to get a try scoring? Return to action, yes he is, Johnny Davis across on the right hand side. Only been on the field five minutes or so. 
but Johnny Davis is on the score sheet and Sebra have their second of the half. It was a great break from the break of the ruck, base of the ruck rather, from Short, who just drew the man and gave it to his speedster out there on the right hand side, Johnny Davis. Alex Martin with the conversion, his team up now by an extraordinary 34-5 scoreline. Hanging high in the wind and drifting back in and over and that's wonderful judgment from Alex Martin. Superb kicking from the Sedba fly half. Thirty-six points to five, they lead. Reminiscent of 2018, with their 29-7 victory here. But this one has a long, long way to go. But we have seen drama in these games before. One only has to think of the first 15 game last year. That 32 all draw. Could we see drama here in the second 15? Backwards. Said we're starting to. Get some of the party tricks out. Big old pass out the back there. Doesn't quite go to hand, but stays in possession until they get dragged out into touch. And we'll have a Wellington College line out round about the halfway line. Numbers back. Solid bit of throwing from Archie Hall. Back line of Fed. That's straight. Finding contact. Don't advantage offside. Great outside. handling that is Brown from Tom 16. Hutchinson, the open side for Wellington College. <laughs> Advantage, Poached by Sedba, but there was a penalty coming anyway for Wellington College offside. So Wellington have a chance, really for the first time in this second half, to find a bit of territory, find a bit of space. There you are. Have a go here. A reminder: six o'clock tonight. The two first fifteens, Wellington College and Sedba, go tonight. head to head. Here at Broad Street RFC. YouTube.com forward slash next gen 15. That's YouTube.com forward slash next gen XV to watch that one. Six o'clock kickoff. Just look at you, look at your gap that you're setting, okay? And if it is anything like what we've been treated to around the pitches here on Broad Street all day, then we are going to be in for a treat. Play on, let's play it. Let's go. Here in the second 15 game, Sedbert are in storming back, form. 36 points to five up. They're on the left-hand side of your screen in brown as Alex Martin thumps that one downfield. And it's going to roll and roll and roll. And that's wonderful play from Alex Martin. A 50-22, in fact, I think, is going to be the call. Pretty sure it is. It's going to be said the ball for the line out. We see it here. Yep. The pass from inside the 22, from inside the half. The kick from almost on his own 22. And it rolls and rolls and rolls. And said, but have a platform here from which they will be looking to score their sixth try of the game. Wonderful, wonderful kicking that from Alex Martin. 
ball tidily down. They're going to look to use the back line early off this line out. <laughs> Through on the hard line they go, but the referee says it's forward. Inches in that one. Wellington College survive. Gloriously taken to the line by George Burton. And right there on his sh shoulder was Henry Barlow, but just, just crept forward with the pass. So close. Yeah, yeah. Five. So as Set. far as I can tell, the only survivors in the Sedba back line nine in hold, the first half are uh, Henry Barlow Ball out. and Zach Halsall in the back three. But I'll try and keep you up to speed. Wellington College with fewer changes, Vantage, although that there advantage. is Casper Tipple. Nothing coming. Trying to grab the loose ball. He's come on fresh in the second half. Hard to see exactly what happened there. Ball sort of squirted out. Tipple went to try and tidy up. And under all sorts of pressure from Craig Craig. Robson, the said the skipper. Bye. Set. Hold black, hold. Said, but out to the try scorer, Johnny Davies. Oh, it was wonderful work on the floor. I think it was Tom Taylor there for Wellington College. I think I spied a six. Upside down. Wait, wait, wait. And I think Michael Broderick might have said something he didn't quite mean to the referee there. Gets a yellow card for his troubles. Wellington College have a penalty and a chance to escape from their 22. goes long though so George Aldersley gets on the charge that's a big carry from him but then a big tackle from the Wellington College skipper Vantage, Barnaby offside, White offside, Zepa, though 13. happy to have a look at stab through there by the replacement Archie Callahan in the 12 shirt who gets their first Wellington College no it's said but they get their first Archie Callahan's kick and I think it's George Burton in 20 that gets the try. It was a huge tackle from Barnaby White, but it was really fast ball for Said, but worked it out to the sides. Callahan stabbed it through, and it was indeed George Burton wearing that 20 shirt. He gets across the line for his team's sixth try of the game. What a performance so far from Sedba. Terrific service here at Broad Street RFC as well. A coffee has just arrived in front of me. Could today get any better? Two live streams and a coffee. Conversion landed by Alex Martin. Time Wonderful up. display Time off up. the tee from him since he came on. Six tries for Sedba, 43-5 they lead. Brilliant performance from the men in brown. Time off. Guys, I'm going to need you out of here, okay, at the moment. I, I appreciate as you. As the temperatures so warm continue to drop. Exactly the same as half of their players. We are ever more grateful to our partners there on your scoreboard limitless for helping keep us warm and put this stream on they are the number one sportswear brand in independent schools the sportswear arm of school blazer their goal is for every young person to develop an active healthy lifestyle and they understand that comfortable well-fitted high performance kit is vital to build a lifelong sporting experience good black ball wellington college kickoff and said but 
can't quite claim it. So Wellington College, can they get a first score of the second half? Tom Hutchinson carrying aggressively, but as he tries to stay in field, tries to get the offload away and doesn't quite get a hand. I think we've ended up with a Wellington College line up. All a little bit chaotic. No, we're going to have a Wellington College scrum, in fact. Hutchinson tried to offload it to stay in field. Coach. Offload, in fact, went to uh, Seba Zach Holsall, who knocked it on Set. into touch. And that gives us a Wellington College scrum. Stay there, nine. Ball out. They're looking to play wide early. Careful, A bit careful. of miscommunication in midfield, but they safely get the ball back on their side. Start to carry through the forwards here in the tight. Hutchinson carried really nicely as Hutchinson, and he's doing so again here. Really aggressive work in a contact situation from the young open side. Now his skipper and back row colleague, Barnaby White, goes in. Flint takes it in. Eddie Rag. Moves it wide, Archie Hall tidies up. Rook's good. Huge counter ruck comes good. in from Sedba and the ball is pinched by Tom Shaw. Try or so to his name already. And Sedba looked to move it wide and early into the hands of Zach Halsall down that left wing. Advantage. Spills the ball forward through contact though. So we come back for a Wellington College scrum. Sharp work down that left-hand side from Halsall. And just as he was trying to get that offload away, the contact came in, couldn't quite get it away. I don't want to go on about go. it too much, but it is cold Five. here at Broad Street RFC. Luckily, Set. the action on the field is keeping everyone warm. A big shout out to our cameramen who were standing four metres up in the air, exposed to the elements. Doing a remarkably job of staying steady. Please! As the temperatures plummet around us. Wellington College. Through Hutchinson, who's growing into this game in the second half, isn't he? He's taken it upon himself to lead the charge for Wellington College as they look to fight back against this Sebba lead. They may not turn it around, but they want to put a tidy gloss on it for themselves. Thumped along, I think there, by Freddie Higgins. Oh, it's a joy to watch Barlow. Such quick feet. Around the fringes. Goes Tom Newman. Newman. Oh, Newman. Oh, lovely from the scrum half. Tom Newman. <laughs> Glorious rugby from Newman. Brilliant, brilliant work from the replacement scrum half. Did it all on his own. Spotted the gap around the fringe. Evaded the first tackle, that huge step off the right foot, and then it was all about the acceleration. He had men on his right, but he went left. And there was nothing that Sammy Hutton could do to cover that space. Tom Newman getting on the score sheet. And said, but, well, if Martin's conversion goes over, they're going to be up to 50. And you have to say, looking at their results this season, this is in keeping with their level. Storming victories against Newcastle School for Boys, Denston College, a strong win against Kirkham Grammar School as well. 
well as the likes of Bradford Grammar, Harrogate Grammar. A second game against Kirk and Grammar School as well. They've been all conquering this second unit at Sedbert. Playing some Sorry, great rugby. Two. What can Wellington College do to close the gap? There's about 15 minutes left to play. They've rung a few changes. I can see Sam Whitaker on in the 21 shirt. Casper Tipple, we've already mentioned, has come on. In fact, it's Casper Tipple that uh, returns the ball to the field of play there. Soon to emerge in the foreground of your screen. There he is. Flint kicks off. Goes longer than he has been off the kickoff, but said, but we're going to look to counter straight from it, and it's fast handling. Oh, it's really unlucky from Sedba. They were at full speed there. Uncontested scrums, remember. I see a man in 23 there. Although Crow. I haven't got a 23 shirt, so uh, apologies if I don't get his name right. I'm going to guess he's either Andres Bukamino, Ben Maxwell Hislop, or Seb Letts. If it's one of them, Ball out. big shout out to you. Through the hands they go. Seb Letts, that is. So 23 is not Seb Letts, I can tell you that much. Sedbra is so aggressive at the breakdown making life so difficult for Wellington Brown. College. Turn two vantage, Brown eight in at the side. <laughs> There's no advantage coming, Brown Three eight blows straight whistle. The side. It's going to be a penalty to Wellington College, who I imagine are going to go to the corner for this one. do that I'll give another big thank you to the student sport company for helping support tonight's two live streams the student yeah, yeah. sport company provides a free service to help students from all over the world pursue their sporting ambitions and education in the UK working with a wide range Seven of independent crack. boarding schools and universities Seven. they can offer advice to any student who wishes to play rugby and study in the UK you can contact them via their website today to see what rugby opportunities they can provide you with thank you so much to all of tonight's sponsors on the live streams it really could Let's not have happened back. without all of them so i do encourage everyone watching to uh, indulge us our shout outs because without those guys we really wouldn't be here and we love being here because these games are so special these evenings are so special school sport is so special and i'll tell you what that's a very special bit of running from said but they were enjoying themselves out there. Oh, that's a brilliant offload to Johnny Davis. He's already got one try. Johnny Davis, one on one with a fullback pass. It infield doesn't quite go to hand. So Wellington College have a chance to counter. And there's a bit of space here if they can find their way into it. Goes into the hands of Joe Buxton, the second row, who does what second rows do. And Sedbert do what they do and compete unbelievably hard at the breakdown. Fred Robson, the Sedbert skipper, the man to poach that one off the deck, just as things were looking threatening for his side. Little chip through from Martin. Bounce doesn't quite go his way, so Wellington College tidy up. Leave it now, you're off your feet. Carried over. I should also say a huge thank you to both Sedba School and Wellington College for their efforts in putting tonight's live streams together. An absolute pleasure to be able to showcase two such fantastic rugby institutions that really do go about things in the right way. An absolute joy to get their games on and a joy to watch them and a joy to watch Sedba at the moment. They're playing. Some wonderful rugby out here. Even now you're off your feet. Yeah. 
Broderick almost up to the try line. Stay black, stay there, stay there. You can't Ball is buried in the back there. We can just about see it now emerging over in that dark corner of the far side of the pitch. Martin now looks to move it. Taken up, well chopped though by Wellington College. Another Glanville, I think, on the carry now. Martin, skip pass out. Now it's out to Johnny Davis, and Johnny Davis has his second try of the game. Brilliant, patient build up play from Sedbert. And another try for Johnny Davis, and another try for these boys in brown who are playing sensational stuff here tonight at Broad Street Rugby Club. Martin with a flat skip pass out. Good hands from Aldersley and Johnny Davis. Well, he's not missing from there, is he? Really good bit of finishing to keep his feet up in the air. He knew they were the danger with the touchline. Top work there from Johnny Davis. He might even have done it with only one boot done up. Fair play to him. Alex Martin with the conversion. And given the way that Sebba's players have all gathered here, I think they've been told that the final whistle is going to be going very shortly. I could be wrong. But they've all huddled here a couple of yards from Martin. He's got a solid strike on it and it creeps in and that's a wonderful conversion from Martin and a wonderful victory for Sedber as the referee does indeed blow his final whistle. Full time Wellington College 5, Sedber School 57, the Sedber School second 15 putting in a performance that first teams up and down the land would have been more than happy with. Absolutely outstanding from Sedbert. No skin off Wellington College is back. They gave it everything, but they came up against a side tonight that were absolutely bang on the money. Superb from Sedbert. A tough one for the Wellington College boys to take. But in the end, it was just all about the prowess of the side opposite them in Brown, who were just sensational in the first half. Finn White was as close to any to unplayable as anyone can be. And in the second half, with their tails up, the Sebber machine just started rolling. We saw this break from Archie Callahan back inside to Tom Shaw. Lovely, lovely work from Shaw on the support line from Callahan, who came on at half time and made such an impact in that second half. And Shaw was on the break again and it was his pass after drawing in the last defender that got Jenny, Johnny Davis away for his first try. Had to work his socks off to get that last six inches or so completed but he managed it in the end. Callahan was instrumental in this one as well, stabbing the kick through. And eventually George Burton would gather and get himself across the line. And then how about this from Tom Newman, the replacement scrum half for said, but came on with some real zip about him and scores a lovely individual try around the fringes. And so that's how it all finished up here at Broad Street RFC in a wonderful second 15 fixture. The Sedbert with a dominant performance though, absolutely fantastic from them, winning 57 points to five against Wellington College. Please join us at six o'clock or more likely five to six, something like that for the first 15 fixture here on Next Gen 15. So close off here, head to that other link for that six o'clock kickoff. Wellington College against Sedbert, first team level this time. It's going to be a rip roarer here in the second 15 game. Wellington College 5, Sedbert 57.